One of the many important things to check on your car is the engine oil level. Engine oil is super duper crucial to the running of your motor and without it, your engine will cease. But have you seen on an oil container, there are numbers such as 10 W40, 20 W50 and so forth. But what do they mean? Oils are divided into two categories. Mineral, which is derived from crude oil and synthetic, which is man-made. There are also mono and multi-grade oils. Mono-grade has one number, such as SAE30. An example would be this four-stroke oil. These do not have a low temperature requirement and are suitable for a narrow temperature range. Multi-grade carries two numbers. An example would be 20W50. Now, Multigrade gives you the best of both worlds by its ability to provide you with optimum performance in hot and cold temperatures, namely normal operating temperatures and cold start temperatures. The viscosity of an oil is measured by its resistance to flow. And there are two numbers that define the viscosity of an oil. The first number ends with the letter W, which stands for winter. This measurement is related to how an oil flows when it is cold, such as engine start up. The second number is defined by how an oil flows when at normal engine operating temperature. The smaller the number, the better it'll flow. So a 10W40 will flow easier than a 20W50 at start up temperatures, as well as at normal engine operating temperatures. These numbers are established by the Society of Automotive Engineers denoted by SAE. This is important, as engine oils naturally thicken as they cool, and thin as they are heated. Thin, low viscosity oils flow easier to protect the engine parts at cold temperature, and a large part of the engine wear happens when the engine is cold. 10W40 oil is certified to offer acceptable viscosity characteristics at up to minus 10, minus 15 which for most of us in South Africa is cold enough. Checking and filling oil is easy. Park the car on a level surface and with a cold engine. Remove the dipstick, wipe it clean, replace and remove again. On the dipstick, there will be a mark of source to show minimum and maximum levels. If you are on the low side, simply remove the oil cap and slowly add oil. Rather add oil, check, add more, check again a few times, then overfilling the oil. If you're not sure which oil to use or how to fill it, check your owner's handbook, speak to a mechanic or ask for assistance from your petrol station attendants. Whilst we're working in the engine bay, remember to add antifreeze to your coolant if you're heading to a sub-zero area of the country. The coolant in your radiator cannot expand when it freezes. And if you have pure water in the radiator, you run the risk of rupturing the radiator if the water freezes. Antifreeze is exactly that. It lowers the freezing point, so liquid remains liquid. Builders has a range of car engine oils and vehicle accessories available in store or online at builders.co.za. And for more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.